Dr. Mike Haney. I'm the uh, clinical director for the Florida Crisis Consortium, which is based in the Florida Department of Health in the Bureau of Preparedness and Response. And we work uh, with the state of Florida to coordinate mental health and disaster behavioral health response when we have declared emergencies. So we recruit volunteers from around the state. Uh, we train them in psychological first aid but especially uh, we recruit licensed clinical staff to work with our teams uh, to provide support services uh, to uh, teams that are deploying into the field uh, whenever there's been a disaster. So again, we're not doing emergency mental health. We are providing simple psychological first aid, but we do believe that we need licensed professionals to be there to help observe, to help monitor, to help educate local emergency operations staff uh, and also to work with me uh, because my role is to coordinate those efforts uh, through the State Emergency Operations Center. So we are very excited uh, obviously to participate uh, in FOMCA. Um, I am a member, uh, have been for a long time, but uh, really appreciate the support that we've gotten from FOMCA. Uh, we, if really uh, value the members that come to us because we know that they're well trained and hopefully they have experience in disaster response but if if you don't or uh, need training we provide that at no charge to our members and so we're just very excited uh, about the program that has been developing over the past 10 years uh, we continue to need to grow our program so we are open uh, for any individual who is a licensed clinician in the state to contact me, uh, contact the Florida Department of Health, and we will be more than happy to talk with you and to facilitate an application to become a volunteer with our program. Now for our clinical staff, one of the nice benefits that we have is if you are activated during an emergency, we actually put you on as an OPS, so it's a non-benefited employee of the Department of Health. You're paid an hourly rate and you're afforded sovereign immunity uh, coverage while you're in the field acting on behalf of the state. So uh, there's not any licensure or insurance issues to be concerned about. Uh, that's all managed through our MQA department. Um, and so again, we provide support. Uh, it's important for our counselors to provide support, but we're there also to take care of the staff who respond in the field. There's a website uh, at the Florida Department of Health. If you go to the uh, uh, flhealth.gov webpage, uh, I believe it's in the upper right hand corner of the website. There's a symbol for disaster behavioral health. Click on that. Uh, you can download an online application that you can fill out and send to us. It's just very simple. Give us a resume, a little bit about your background, and in particular for licensed clinicians, uh, provide us your license number, um, that type of information. Uh, and then uh, myself or Dr. Mark O'Neill, who's my colleague at the University of South Florida that works with us on this program, will reach out to you and we'll make you aware of the next uh, core training that we require of all of our volunteers. And that will be the way to get your foot in the door. First of all, our students are our future. Uh, I've been in the mental health field for a long, long time, and at one point I didn't have gray hair. Uh, but you know, our, our students are our future, and we also have to uh, sort of uh, ingrain in our students the desire, hopefully, to contribute back to their community. And there's no greater time, in my opinion, when you're doing trauma work, crisis response, when People in the real world need real people there helping. And that's the contribution that you can make as a counselor, uh, as a volunteer with the FCC, is to uh, help your community recover quickly, uh, get back to a normal state of functioning after a disaster event. Well, again, it's a great program. There are just uh, so many wonderful people that are affiliated with this. And as Uncle Sam would say, we want you. Uh, so contact us. Uh, my email is mike.haney at fl uh, flhealth 
www.ghanaianfinancialaid.gov. Please email me. I'd be glad to reach out to you, talk with you if you have any questions, and we would welcome you as a volunteer with the FCC.